Hey everyone, we've had our first mailbag. There's a lot of stuff to unpack. I'm not sure this will be a regular thing. I do feel slightly guilty as I've sat on this box for over a month now, waiting for some spare time. So, what's in the box? We've got a good selection of linear regulators. These are really handy for audio projects where you want to try and isolate the power supply for the sensitive microphones and amplifiers from the noisy ESP32. And we've got a few DC to DC converters, some nice little boards and the classic LM2596. There's also a little switch mode power supply for connecting to the mains. I normally try and steer clear of mains voltages, but this could be handy at some point for a standalone project. On the ESP32 side of things, there's a couple of nice dev modules, along with a bare bones ESP32 A1S module. I've actually got one of these on a dev board as well that I ordered last year. I'll be trying to think of some good projects to do with these. Also in the box, there are a lot of microphones. I think someone is trying to drop me a hint. Stop messing around with lasers and get back to some audio projects. We've got a good selection of MEMS microphones and a really nice collection of electric microphones, including these ones that have been taken out of some shotgun mics. To go with the microphones, we've got a collection of microphone preamps to play with. We've also got some nice A to D converters. It will be interesting to compare these against the built-in A to D converters of the ESP32. I think we've definitely got some interesting audio projects coming up. I've also received another interesting non-audio device. This is a magnetic rotation sensor. This came with a nice set of magnets to try it out with. I'll use this to try and replace the mechanical rotary controller in my Asteroids game. Finally, we've got something that I got for myself from Kickstarter. An OpenCV AI kit. I've got the Spatial AI Camera module. I'm going to have to definitely think of something good to do with this, as I need to justify actually getting it. I think there's definitely a desire for more audio projects. Someone's dropping heavy hints in that direction. And I think we've got a bit more AI and computer vision coming as well. Let me know what you'd like to see in the comments. I can't guarantee anything, but I do read every comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.